Okay, you guys, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is I was planning on this like really lovely kind of vlog style thing where I walked into the studio and it was really calm and peaceful and lovely, but it absolutely pissed down. So it's not really that chill. It's not really that lovely. And also the studio is really dark today because it's cloudy outside. So we've got the fluorescence on. It is what it is. Good news though, this guy, if you watched my video last week, you will know that I broke my finger a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't allowed to throw. Here we are with the good news. I am allowed to throw. She's a lot better. I can bend. It's only a tiny bit painful. The doctor said I am not allowed to like bend it back because that's what broke it, but the bending forward, keep on bending, bend away. Uh, and she said, you can give throwing a go. Why is my hat so floppy? That's better. Today I'm gonna to be making candlesticks for my wedding. The cool thing about getting married is that you can like design everything the way that you want it. And the good thing about being a potter is that you can make things that you want. So today I'm marrying the two together and I'm gonna be making candlesticks. I love making a candlestick, it's good fun. It's quite a challenge for me, so you know we'll be working it out together. We'll be here today for throwing and then tomorrow for trimming. So, you know, let's go. Let's get started. My finger is sore. <laughs> There's no denying that. Wedging the clay, you gotta like sort of straighten your hand a little bit and you know what, it hurts the finger. Hopefully, hopefully throwing will be a lot better. I haven't thrown in a really long time, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of apprehensive. I'm kind of nervous. I've wedged up a whole lot of different sizes of clay. I don't really know what size I want. Um, I think I just want a range of different sizes. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I've gone too big, too small, who knows. This is a Hartley & Noble bat and you put the little bat tiles inside of it. Like this, it's really cool. And then I'll throw on this and then just take this whole thing off. I definitely don't want to like I don't want to squeeze too hard with this finger. Centering's a little bit different to how I usually would do it. I'd usually like squeeze really hard with these fingers on my right hand, but it hurts to squeeze. I'm going to be like working out what I'm doing as I'm throwing. Should I make it hollow? I guess so. I've got a little wobble going on. Uh, I think that's okay. We can deal with it. How am I gonna approach the top? I need to measure this because it has to fit a candle when it shrinks. Okay, so I know that this pin is very similar size to like a candle plus 12 or whatever percent that my clay shrinks. So I'm gonna throw it to this size and I'm gonna use these teeny tiny little calipers here to measure the size of the pin.
You know what, for the first one, I think that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, I've done it. I have made 28 little candlestick holders. I am gonna quickly clean the wheel now. I've also made a chuck, which is just a big cone of clay and it's to trim these guys. So I'll put them upside down in there tomorrow. These are all gonna dry overnight and I will be back in the morning, in the afternoon, sometime tomorrow to trim them all. My hands feel gross, they feel wrinkly. I've been throwing for five or six hours, so I'm ready to go home. I'm really hungry. It's like quarter to nine at night. Um, and there's been Guy Fawkes outside, which has been truly horrifying because I'll be like halfway through a candlestick and just be like, Boo! Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for part two. Hi, welcome back. It's day two. My candlestick holders have dried <laughs> and I'm just gonna cut them off their bats instead of trying to pull them and like warp their shapes. And I'm gonna trim them. So my 28 that are here are all pretty nicely dried. Um, I am going to attach the bat again. This is so that I can attach the chuck to it. Here's the chuck. You put it into the chuck. It goes into the chuck so that I can trim it upside down without like destroying the rim. And I just center it quickly on here. And then I'm just gonna like flatten the base out and clean up this um, edge bit. That's it. Um, then it will just get a little sponge down and I'll take it off. Usually I would stamp it now, but I have ordered a um, special stamp that has like our names and the date of the wedding on it. Um, and it hasn't arrived yet, so it's fine. I'll come in maybe tomorrow when it's when it's arrived and stamp all the butts. I'm just cleaning up this rim where it was on the chuck and I'll get in there as well. And then anything else that needs a little tidy up, I'll do that now. And that's it. So now this guy will dry and I will finish the rest. And I think I'll do another video about the glazing of them. Um, but I'll definitely show you when they're finished. Things that I learned from this process, I think that the smaller ones were actually more effective and I didn't end up using any of the clay that was like 500 to 700 grams. It was way too much. I used like two to 400 grams um, and that was all I needed. So if you're gonna do this at home, go for that. Also I wish I bought two candles from home to put into the other one so that it looked like there was more than just one candle but 
you know, we're working within our means. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I will see you in two weeks with something else. I will show the glazed and finished pieces on my Instagram, which is at May Ceramics. I can't wait to see these finished. I think they look really beautiful already. Can't wait to see them on the tables as well. I think they're gonna look, they're gonna look banging. I think that's all. Goodbye, thank you for joining me. See you in two weeks for another video. Bye.